Welcome back everybody to episode 272. No, you haven't missed anything. Well, you have, uh, but in actual fact, it was me who missed anything. I actually forgot to hit the record button when I was doing the office. So basically, I went through the entire office. We found some nice expensive furniture for Dolan Trusk. Uh, I found some bonsai and I found some jukers. I put in some nice expensive bookcases and a pile of books to hopefully look a bit classy on his office table. And I did all of this over the last half an hour or so and completely forgot to record. So before I go to auction and put in the last couple of decoration bits that I need to do, what I'm going to do is put in some floor rugs and uh, beg your forgiveness for being a klutz with my computer and um yeah i've forgotten what sort of rugs i put in the hallway i think i just used plain white ones so i'm just going to try and find something that might work in here so let us pop down a slightly darker gray rug there and i think we'll put a slightly darker gray rug in here all right, and I think that is probably where we're going to leave our office. Can my apologies, I completely messed that up. We are going to take a screenshot of that. Let's put aircon in for the uh, computers and for the guest comfort. I've moaned about the fact I can't get rid of the garage doors and, um, and replace them with walls and sliding doors. So this is Dolan Trusk's office, even though it still says it's a garage. We can't dislodge him from the top. So a very quick zip through, uh, this is where we can leave our, our uninhabited house. So that's it there, it's still dark outside. Uh, here's our hallway. Here's our living room. So we have this little kind of living room nook. We have our downstairs bathroom. I just stepped on the table or something there. Uh, we have our upstairs bedroom. I was designing this for the art lady, but unfortunately uh, it's not going to work for her, so that's that. Uh, Dolan, however, seems to not mind pink, so we're not going to repaint his room. So this, oh, and and we remembered a psychomantium to hopefully increase the bid coming from Raphael Urko, and all that is is a chair, a mirror, and a light. So I think, without further ado, we're going to wander down these stairs step into our dimly lit office and we're going to send this place i think it's a bit dark to go outside and show off the garden oh no it's not too dark all right so this is our english garden with our flowers we have raspberry bushes and blueberry bushes we have vine clad stone or brick walls we have our gazebo and uh, our pond it's a koi pond, granted, but it's still a pond. I haven't put any lights in. I'm probably going to lose marks for that. We have our curtained off garden shed, which I have furnished with various bits and pieces. We have our mulch boxes because we're going to need them. Grapevines, apple trees, and so on. However, that is where we're going to leave this house we are going to leave just invite these guys through i guess let's go for our garden contest into the english garden all right equipment's still only at a four it's a new record though for that kind of garden 45 percent nice and let's put this place on auction all right the spoth family are our very bottom bidders I don't think we're going to get too great a price this time around, but that's okay. I think we tried to please way too many people. Way too much. Dolan at 282. I like this idea. Let's see if the nice man can be convinced to pay a little bit more for it. Hmm, Mr. Trask, your offer's too low. I can sell you the house for 31,000 more. Not in my life. Funny that. Fine, we'll accept your price then. There we go. It 
looks like they fixed whatever glitch it was that was going, not doing the old to new. I love this part of the thing. <laughs> I turned it into a wall. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. I love this. That particular part that they've done is one of my favourite parts of the um, of the game now. Just watching it go from old to new. <sighs> okay, well we're back home. We have auctioned off our uh, our house. We are heading into our browser again. I keep thinking we're going to end this series, and uh, we actually have nine more houses to go. And I don't think we're going to get through these nine houses before they bring out the next DLC. So they've got two planned for this year now. They've got the uh, the Luxury House uh, DLC, which I'll be picking up. And we'll, we'll head into that when it arrives, depending. I mean, I, I do record ahead, so you probably won't see those episodes till a little bit after release. Um, but, wow, look at this house. What was this house called again? Anyway, they... Um, they're also going to put out a pets DLC. So I, I think. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's just clean up a little bit out here. Man, let's let's clean up a lot out here. Let's just zap these trees and these bushes. I don't think I can zap this one now. I'm going to have to axe that one. And those. Oh, that's kind of pretty, isn't it? We could we could do like a, a tropical kind of garden. I don't think it'll show well in the, um, the garden contest. But, you know, we could do palm trees and stuff. See how that goes. Let's zap this through. All right. Look at the view. That's just magnificent, isn't it? It's a bonza view. Alrighty, I think I think before we get into the mowing, I'm gonna just take to this place with a um with a hose. Yeah, I think the windows are dirty on the inside first. There we go. Man. Should we clean under its chin, hey? Who are our top couple? The Smoth family are our top couple for this house. I mean, they'd be prepared to buy it as is, but we probably wouldn't get a really good price for it. Let's have a look, you see, over this way. Here we go. Oh no. Looks like I missed a bit. Wow, and under the chin. There we are. Wander back this way. Oh right, I've missed an entire side. That's okay then. I thought I'd been particularly slack. Obviously not. I think I'm going to find I need some scaffolding. Maybe? No. Oh, that looks pretty clean. Alright, so maybe all of that dirtiness on the windows. Oh! Can I, can I hose in here? This is just... No, I'm just going to have to... I have a magic broom and I am not afraid to use it. I don't know, I'm actually thinking we might retain a lot of this and um, let it have, have a nautical theme and maybe just peg it, deck it out in blue and white. Maybe maybe not do a lot of uh, a lot of painting at all, just... Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to learn how to fly to get that bit. No, I wasn't serious. Um, there are ways and means. Okay, I'm going to have to 
climb up on things to do it, but it'll be fine. I mean, I could get some scaffolding and actually do this the safe way. But I mean, where would the fun be in that? There's just little bits of grubbiness along the wall here. I'll clean that out. All right, now we're looking good. But I'm thinking we might we might stick pretty close to what they've got here. Just clean up in here. I know, I'm, I'm not a builder really, I'm a monkey. Oh God, okay, I'm a monkey that's scared of heights. Alrighty, let's uh, deal with that. I know, I'm balancing on the banister. The safe way to do this is probably to get ourselves some scaffolding and deal with it that way. But, uh, I mean, why would we do that? Well, we can climb around like idiots. Ah, oh, here we go. Wow, this, this place is just filthy. I'll feel a lot better when it's cleaner. I know, right? There we go. All pretty. No, not quite all pretty. What have I missed? The windowsill. No, the curtains. The curtains were the culprit. Rude curtains. Fix that up. I know, now we're just parkouring away across the furniture. I think that that might be outside. I might have to deal with that. Fine, if you're not going to move, I'm going to sell you. All right, which of you guys needs to be sold next? You, obviously. I think I turned this into an upstairs bathroom last time I was here. We might try and do something different this time round. I mean, it makes a great upstairs bathroom. You could almost do an upstairs sauna, couldn't you? There we go. Okay, that looks like the major... Oh, man, eat my words. The major grubbiness. Is that picture the dirty thing? The picture is the dirty thing. And there's a stain just there. Oh, that's right, there's a side door. I haven't... Oh man, that just looks filthy. What's wrong with the door? Nothing. It's just going to look filthy. Okay, fine. So if I remember rightly, there was a, a space out the back here. No, it looks like I missed something else inside. Oh, that's right, I have a ring. Alright, it's it's actually in here. I know I shouldn't be selling these doors, but anyway. Here we go. Dirt central. I mean that could be an accurate description for most of this house, but oh that's okay. Right, there we go. Clean parts. The dirty part of the house is now open. Oh, man. Mildew City. Those, those cheeky clients over there in the corner, they're not actually telling me to hurry up and clean up in here, are they? Because, I mean, surely they can see what I'm attempting to do. Alrighty, let's just show me this way. The kitchen's going to have to go. The windows need cleaning. Oh, I'm not sure who I want to sell it to, to be honest. The jan I was going to say, the jan tarts shouldn't be too far from the... Um... I've missed a window. Yep. Right. The jan tarts shouldn't be too far from, from anywhere on this list. The wrong one. Let's just zap out the rubbish. Wow, 
Oh, someone had a party in here. Alright, we're going to need to just replace everything. I mean, Fedin, can we really want to be selling that? Um, selling anyone with that fridge. I mean, they might be dumb enough to use it, and I don't think it's hygienic. Oh, wow. I call these. These must all be sodden. Okay, it looks like I've missed space. Oh, yeah, look at that. Fix on that one. Where did I miss this one? Probably the couch. Picture, picture, picture was the grubby thing in the corner. Alright, so it looks like we just need to do a quick window, windows-ish. Let's get that done. You know, we could even try curtains this time round. I mean, it's just such an airy kind of house. No, it's telling me the windows are clean. They clearly are not clean. Alright, that's that done. Yeah, you guys thought this place was clean. Which of you said it was going to be super safe for the baby? Because really... Okay, so there's that bit done. So I'm thinking we need to do lots of white, lots of blue, lots of wooden furniture. Um, not necessarily this old style stuff that's just going to drive me crackers. I know, and I'm crackers enough as it is. Thank you. So we just get all of this done. That's done. Yeah, so definitely lots of um, they, they are noticing the windows getting cleaned. That's rather nice of them. Looks like I'm getting ticks of approval from all corners of the world, really. So, just zush that down. And we zush this. Okay, all of that's done. And I need to head upstairs. I know, it's stairs. I don't know if we want to sell it to the Jantarts. I mean, they're an older couple. And with the risk of falls and trips and things, you, you may not, you know, it might not be the best house for them to purchase. Thinking with them, the attraction is probably something along the lines of the um, the old-fashioned furniture. So if we modernise that, uh, we should be able to discourage them a bit. We can reduce the size of the kitchen. There we go. Okay, I think I think we've got most of that. Hmm. So, the real estate agent's not anywhere there really. I have one bathroom space here. You know, I'm thinking we might make this a kitchen area here. And then we might put maybe a dining room or maybe a small living room. Actually, let's put a small living room here. Put a kitchen area there. put a massive family room in here leave the bathroom downstairs now the Swath family like two bathrooms that means we're gonna to have to find another space for a bathroom now this is a decent sized bedroom space well kind of so I'm thinking if we if we lock off another area here for a bathroom space that would give the prerequisite two bathrooms so, family room, living room, kitchenette, downstairs bathroom. Okay, so that's that's two. Uh, let's say upstairs bathroom here, 
and we we'll turn this into a children's room. Uh, we will make this the master bedroom. Yeah, so. All right, that, that's, that's a plan, right? I don't know what we're gonna do, probably do some kind of American garden outside, but we'll do it with more lawn this time. And I might, um, yeah. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's definitely not a space for the, uh, what do you mean, uh, what do you call it? Definitely not a space for the gent arts. Uh, I would say it's more a space I'm just thinking, I know it's dangerous when I do that. Let's get rid of this light switch and this light switch. And we could put a small children's room here. Let's just have a look at what happens when we try and put some, okay, it will fit. So, Oh, if we put that there, we're going to have a space about here. But if we put it one over, that'll give us a good walk area, right? So if we put in these walls, I reckon we can put a small upstairs bathroom here. We take out this wall here, we can have a fairly decent sized room. Turn that into a children's room. I mean, because you're going to have to want a space... Hang on, let me try to talk English again. Oh, I'm not sure, hang on. Let's just have a quick look at that downstairs bathroom again. It's got a bathtub too. If we take the bathtub out and put a shower in. All right, so we can have a shower, shower, toilet, and um, shower, toilet, laundry in here. That'll be fine. And then upstairs... Upstairs we'll do the same, we'll have, we could put a bath up here, couldn't we? All right, I know that the Gentiles are awfully excited. Let's let's just see if we can fit a bathtub here, because if we can put a bathtub and a shower, because you're going to want to have a bath, well, but babies could be bathed in a sink if it was big enough, I suppose. All right, so I guess, I guess we're going to do, maybe not a bathtub then. We're going to do a shower, a toilet, yep, and then we're going to put a sink somewhere in here. I think I need to come out at least two more, two more spaces, and then come across this way. I know, I'm just measuring up for a sink. There we go. All right, and then what we're going to do is go here and put in four. And then put in your tall thing. Oops, I kind of ignored the window, didn't I? Oh, I'm a daft idiot. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, that's not going to work because we can't have a window right where we want to have a... Fine, the bathroom's going to be bigger than I planned. No worries. We'll just move the walls in a minute. I know, who gave me my license to build? Do I have to own up to that, or do I have to admit to the fact it was probably out of a cornflakes packet? Oh, I don't know if I said that. Anyway. Uh, put that up there. And that's there. There we go. And then I guess we get to hammering. So we're gonna keep this um, wood facade on the walls. But I have to say, it's gonna be a bit of a, a dust catcher if we do. No yellow, that's fine. Let's get rid of these. Let's watch where I'm swinging my hammer so I don't have to build any more walls.
I know this house has no ensuite. How rude is that? No. Alright. That will be fine. So, that's going to be our bathroom. This is going to be our parents' area. This is going to be our children's bedroom, so we don't need any of this. Oh wow, everyone's whining about the fact I stole their bedroom. Why on, guys, why not? Okay, so we kind of now have a better idea of what's going on up here. We are not going to have a massive big dining room down here. The Smoth family are just a little family starting out. I'm not sure why they've got their plates and cups in a not the kitchen room, but anyway. Not all my documents will fit here. Man, your documents were never going to fit here in the first place. Stop you whinging. Alright, that's all that done. These windows are bothering me. I wish I could clean them. They look grubby. Okay, so we've got all of this happening. Get rid of those. Now I'll have the art girl on my case about all of the different things, the paintings running away. Dolan Trusk is now much more interested in the house. I've got news for him, it's not his house. Um, we might tell him that after the bidding though, okay? I'm get rid of these curtains. I'm not sure if I want to put curtains in now that I've removed everything else. All right, there, there go the kitchen lovers, absolutely whining about fact that I've now destroyed their kitchen. It's all right, they'll forgive me soon, I'm sure of it. Ah, uh, okay. All right, so we're gonna keep the basic structure of the house the same this time around. Uh, we're just gonna add a few little bits and bobs. Oops, I know, there, there they go, winching about the fact that I just destroyed their bathroom. Uh, I'm sure they'll forgive me when they see the end results. Well, they might not forgive me, but I mean, you know, we'll find out the hard way. Oh man, I'm losing the light out here, that's a bit rude. Okay, back this way. So, before we forget, I'm going to grab this. I'm going to grab our walls and our panels. And we're going to look for the outdoor wall things. There we go. I think it's these panels we're after. Let's just see if they match up okay. Pop it in. Yeah, there we go. Outside wall panels on the inside because we are just that arty. I might change my mind yet. I might like the different ones. But we're going to go for wall panels that look a bit like this. Let's drop two of those in there. I know, we're not going to go on the inside. The inside is going to end up with tiles. Says she just remembering that's what she intended to do and now regretting buying the second package of tiles. That's okay. All right, everything's done then. You know what? I'm just gonna make all this pretty. Really, Giorgio, you like the wooden look? That's a surprise. Okay, um, whoops, before we go too much further. Can I have more? I can have more, there we go. Down the stairs we go, round the corner. Let's just grab this, pop these up here. Oh, yeah, that's a pain. I'm just gonna have to watch where I put my door. This is for all of those people who like you to actually paint all the inside, so you, you either paint it all or you tile it. Let's just grab those. Two is not going to be enough. I'll have to buy some more. There's a shell way down here. Put those up there. Yep. All right. So that is that is how this looks. That is how this looks. Okay. That is really going to bother me. Let's grab that, that up there, and that up there, and remove that light. Okay. So right now it could be anyone's house. 
Okay, these count as two separate rooms. We are going to make the real estate agent's day by getting rid of this. Because the minute we do this, we have a 33 meter square room. We can have a kitchenette dining room, which is what will make our real estate agent a happy bunny. We're not selling to him, we're just going to put him in the bidding war section. Why do I have... What is this? Okay, it's, it's something that I can't beat up, fine. Okay, I guess, I guess that'll be okay. Let us, uh, yeah, get those over there. Okay. We are gonna zap that. All right, let's uh, figure out our lights. We're not selling to the Gentiles, we're not selling to the Johnsons, we're not selling to Giorgio, and we're not selling to Dolan Trusk. So the people that we actually want uh, the highest in here aren't even on the screen. That's fine. Um, that's absolutely fine, I suppose. I'll just keep telling myself that. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put in mid-range lights because we are going to sell it to a family and we don't want them to be completely messed up by the power bill. I know that single, some of these single lights, like 1122, that looks really cheap, but you're going to have to put multiple ones of those in to get the same amount of light. Uh, so we might just go with our mid-range white thingy what's it And I'm going to put... That there. All right, I'm just wondering what my change of. All right, this is the kids' room. That up there. We may want softer lighting in there. Right now, I just want lighting that I can work with. Ah, uh, yes, I forgot about this. Fine. Looks like we get to play with wall lights. Yes. I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to wall lights. Uh, as we become clear soon. Okay, so we have small fluoros, we have sconce lusks, lux, can't talk either, sconce wave, semicircle. I like the lacerants, they're quite nice. I'm actually thinking if we can reach the ceiling, we might put up some big dangly lights uh, as well. That was sophisticated language, big dangly lights. We might have a look at these fluoros and just see just see how we go with these. Uh, up above the window line. No, I can't fit them in there. All right, now I've got to line them up, don't I? Do it. Okay, I think I actually got that in line. All right, then these ones would have to be lower. So we might as well go overkill here. Uh, I think that's about right. I know, we're not scared of the dark. I'm not scared of the dark. You're scared of the dark. Okay, so that is going to have to be on a different level again. It's just annoying. It's the third main... here maybe let's just all right so yeah so that's that's the same length above did I put no I did not put let's go with these I'm, I'm not quite sure what movement, why I'm seeing that movement in my clients. That's okay. Let's just pop these in and turn everything on. So then we've got light as we move through the house. That'll work. Yeah, okay. We're going to definitely try and put something up here. I'm not even sure I can, but uh, let's... Yay, 
yeah yeah okay I, I don't think these are quite right but let's um let's try anyway well that was annoying let's just jump up onto here no no no, no. up on the banister daring daring builder uh, okay Nope, that's not where I want to be. Sort of like that. Now, where's my light switch for this area? Did I zap it? I zapped it. Um, maybe. Okay, well, let's grab ourselves a light switch. And we'll just pop it here. Right, does that make any difference down here? No, because they turn off when you descend. Why don't these turn on? Because they're above the room divider line, that's why. So I need to move them down. Ha, huh, okay, that's going to be awkward. So basically this, this line here divides the upstairs space from the downstairs space, uh, which means we have to move all of our lights down into where the game considers the downstairs space to exist. There you go, that's all done. Alright, so I'm going to need some good floor lamps I think, so I can't put anything on the stairs, they won't let me. Back up into here. All right. Well, that was just a waste of thingamy what's it. I wonder if I can zap them from here. They're not doing what I want them to do. I'm going to just get rid of them. Okay. So we've got our lighting... All right, almost sorted out. Where's the light switch? Just pop that in here. All right, lights are done. Layouts decided. We we haven't done a lot in the outside, but we will. We're going to use tropical plants and make it a tropical garden, and maybe we won't make a huge profit on our um, thing. We're going to have a family room in here. But it's going to have zones, I think. We're going to have probably some kind of couch and more grown-up space here. And then I think over here we're going to have bean bags and bookcases and teddy bears and whatnot uh, here. We're going to lighten up this floor. Uh, the darker floors are not the effect we're looking for. So I might do that while, we, while we're in prep stage. So panels and coverings. Do we want to have white panels? Well, let's just check and see what it looks like. I don't know. I don't think so. Let's try um, the pine panels and just see if that gives us more of a feeling for what we want. Yeah, we want the pine panels, not the white panels. It's just enough contrast to do the thing. All right, that's that done. We'll do the same out here, but I think, I think what we might do is stop about there. We might put tiles down in the kitchen. Okay, now we're cooking. Upstairs we're going to do the same, we're going to go, actually upstairs we're going to carpet. So let us, let us carpet with the carpet. Let's go our sempra, our yeah, sempra white I think. Yeah, it's nice and it gives a nice clean look. Maybe. Alright, I can't change that, fine. Uh, the baby's room we probably don't want to carpet in white though. Let us, let us try and find, there's a grey, there's a blue, um, I'm hedging more towards the grey 
and the operum as opposed to anything else. Let's, let's just change this. All right, and this is dark because I've got no light here. So we want some kind of dangly or light thing coming from the ceiling. Well, hence dangly. I like the, the diamond lamps just because you're a young couple starting out doesn't mean you can't have something pretty. Let's, let's put this up here. Hit my light switch. It's, it's not as bright as I want, never mind. All right, so now we've got, yeah, now, we, now we're getting there. So we've got our floors, bathrooms. Oh man, I don't know. Let us have a look at our tiles for our floor. We are sure to have a few of these. White polished porcelain. You know, I'm actually thinking really tempted to do the decorative light porcelain tiles but for the walls we would do maybe the hexagons or I could just go straight with your um so maybe something like this because we're doing that blue and white nautical thing right and then for the walls, we might do half walls, half walls in white and uh, with four walls in the corner. And upstairs, you know what, we might, we might go the same upstairs instead of doing two different bathroom fields. So there we go, there's our upstairs tiled. Now for the kitchen, I was going to go yellow, but I'm thinking if we're, if we're trying to work on our um, theming you know what we may actually just go with these again blue and white it's, it's not a theme I've tried in the kitchen before no nope, I don't like it all right there'd be a reason I haven't tried this theme in the kitchen so what I was thinking my other alternative was go to our nice light yellow ceramics because it matches in many respects the tone of the floor all right, so now we have some distinct zones. Let's just fix this bit here. That needs to be um, this. There we go. All right, so now we have the light inside and I have a feeling that that um, outside paneling is probably gonna go. I'm not 100% sure yet. All right. We are running a bit short on time though. I'm not sure if that really fits. Let's have a quick look outside. It looks almost light enough to, to have a look at the... Wow. There's just something really peaceful yeah the outside the outside's going to get probably reclad to white yeah uh, I would love to put some kind of blinds or curtains in here let's just see if we can manage the window blinds mountable window I'm going to go with the white wood and the white detail it's not going to let me, is it? Ah, oh, rude. Fine, we'll just drop it in around all the other spaces. And then we'll just assemble them all at once. Okay, sometimes I'll do a room at a time and sometimes I'll just go nuts and do a, a section of, of house at a time, like all the floors, all the windows. A bit like I'm doing this one. Yeah, we are definitely changing the inside walls. Uh, they're not going to suit what we want to do. So we're just going to modernise that look. So that's going to happen. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can't get curtains up here because of the way the... 
the roof's handled so even if I could get them let's just have a quick look at how curtains might look oh god uh, maybe with curtains we might want to use so if we were going to do our light blue with our white ornaments really I could fit them in okay that's a wide curtain I don't want a wide one uh, we've got an Emmons, an Emmons light coloured narrow. Huh. Alright, well this is something I didn't think I'd be able to do, so I'm just going to experiment. Yeah, we're definitely getting rid of the walls. Okay, cool. So let's get the Emmons curtains in as well. just went up the charts because I put curtains in because I don't often play with curtains so I don't know who really likes them really no one no one likes them there you go so you can do curtains and um, And blinds, but you can't do blinds and those roller blind things. So you can do this. But, but that's an unexpected bonus. I didn't expect to be allowed to do this. I oh know I'm doing. They should be the last things to go into a house. Ah, uh, okay. I'm going to be a bit disappointed here that was not thinking of the word disappointed I was thinking another word that was much ruder I think if I want to put curtains in this room I need to move the walls over possibly one let's just um I know I was not going to remove these walls was I? Oh, I'm sad I know, I, normally I don't use curtains, so the thought didn't cross my mind. Let's uh, let's just see how much space the curtains take up. And that way we'll know where we've got to put our wall. Okay, so basically, if we want to put a wall in here... Gotta go. Out one. Okay, so that'll be that'll be a task for next episode. We're just gonna bring the bathroom out one, which makes it rather a large bathroom, but that's okay. At least we know now. Now the problem with these is I'm gonna to have to move my lights because I don't think it's gonna let me put white curtains in where the lights where they are so I have to rethink my lights because they have to be down that low if they're going to work so we might use maybe dilacerants at an angle so there you go all right let's let's have a look at these curtains we're going to need our wides we're going to need our light blue we're going to need our ornaments Uh-huh. Problem number two is I don't think I can put the second curtain in if I put these in. We might need to use our narrows and put in two narrows. Let me just move this over here. Actually, it's going to be in the way there. Exactly what we're gonna to have to do. Let's just try this. Yep, okay, so what we're gonna to have to do let's just grab that and move it over here. Alright, 
we're going to try our narrows so we do this grab this here and then we're going to do it again yeah okay so you can't use one wide curtain in these spaces you're going to have to use two narrow curtains well you could you could use one wide curtain Ah, oh, but you can't use two wide curtains. One wide won't be enough to cover your window, though. Two wide will divide your window. So it looks almost okay. But you'll see your other problem now is we can't fit. Yeah, we can't fit the light in the zone. Oh, wait a minute. Yes. All right, that was better than I hoped. So we want to fit the light just oh very nice we're allowed that's pretty cool all right again like i said i'm pretty sure i can't fit a curtain over there no so we go back to here and we can fit that right over the top of the light. I'm not sure if you'd want to do this, whether or not the light would heat up enough to um, to destroy your curtains and burn your house down. Hopefully not. Let's just quickly get these up. So we can call this the curtain episode, I suppose. Window episode. Yeah, I really wish I could put some kind of curtains in over here, but like I said, they don't even show up when you try would be nice if the curtain program would recognize I don't suppose it would let me do it from the outside would it that would just be silly no yeah okay so you cannot by hook or by crook put curtains up in there so let us very quickly zap a curtain in here we want our narrows again all right well now we've got our color scheme working We've got curtains and blinds, so we've got double insulation on the um, on the windows. Which, if it gets really hot, is going to be handy. Mind you, in the bathroom, it's going to be possibly a small chance of mildew. So you just have to be vigilant, I suppose. Yeah. Okay, we'll get this in. Now these are long drapey curtains. What I'm hoping for in the kitchen, because I want to put benches in, is, is short curtains. Short, not so drapey curtains. Short narrows, here we go. Oh, really? Okay, now they will let us do this. These must be the earlier versions. We'll put these in, I may end up having to sell them later because we don't get the see it's not the same blue either that's just going to irritate me no end alright so the Emmons only come in one length And a variety of patterns that don't come in I mean I could get matching light blue so why don't we all right I suppose it's not and and I also have a yellow floor too don't I so let's let's zap these because it's not the right kind of blue so if we're gonna do a different color curtain We're going to need short narrows. Oh God. Okay, I could live with subtle flowers. The white looks grey. Okay, so we can do that or we can go with, because it's going to be a yellowish kitchen. That's just gross. But it's got a yellow, it's got a yellow floor, hasn't it? It's 
to always have trouble with the blinds there's never enough colors so so modders out there what we're looking for is we want some short narrow curtains that that will match like the floor or will match the other curtain colors uh, all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna all right I'm just gonna change the yellow out on the floor maybe or we can put white blinds in fine and in that case you know what we'll just stick with these so no curtains in here because I can't get a curtain to to look nice um, and match the decor uh, but on that note I think we might call an end to this episode next episode we'll get out into the garden and we'll start building our tropical plants garden probably mostly mow to start with um, we might start in the kitchen area yeah we'll, we might try and do this area next next episode and we'll get our um, our living room kitchenette done and our downstairs bathroom so I think that's the plan and uh, this time I'll remember to hit record when I'm working on it but uh, that's that all right that's all for now thanks for hanging with me guys if you enjoyed the episode please hit like if you want to see more please hit subscribe and I look forward to seeing you next time take care out there